All right, let's do that again. I actually wonder if it's like worth it just getting a shit ton of flames. Cause I don't know. Like at the beginning of the game, like what if you, well, I don't know if it'll work, but what if instead of going like double DPS at the beginning of the game, you just make your singular DPS weapon stronger. You know what I mean? Let's try that. Buy both of those. Did not get lucky. <laughs> ah, I got lucky. Whetstone. Um, I guess we can go pig. Should I get the pan? I'm gonna just try it. I'm gonna just try it. I might regret this. Oh, I love how the pig is affected by flame. That is absolutely great. Okay, this is like... <laughs> That's the best I could do as far as the build goes. Got another one and we got another flame. Might as well buy you two. All right, cool. We'll roll with this. I, I just want to see if it's like actually kind of good just to rock one former DPS, but make it really fast through flame or semi fast. It doesn't seem really fast to me right now. Yeah, I don't think it's worth it. I think having two different forms of DPS is better. It's just not strong enough. Yeah, it's just not strong enough. So yeah, having two different forms of DPS is definitely better. So with that being said, well, at the same time, I'm about to upgrade this to a hero sword. Kind of interesting. Um, what happened? Why'd you end your stream? It's because my OBS crashed. That's the only reason. I, um, should I, should I get this wooden broom? I'm gonna play it out. I'm gonna play it out and see. I have my doubts. I truly do have my doubts. But I'm gonna just play it out and, and, and see what happens. But yeah, my, um, my OBS crashed because I was recording a video. And if I record too many videos in a row, OBS ends up crashing. I'm surprised we won that, by the way. It's not expecting to win that. Now I can get the burning sword. I do need to get my chilies, though. All right, that was good. <laughs> um, fax does tend fat does tend to crash. You said fax, like you're agreeing with me, like fax it does tend to crash. Is that what you're saying? Going against poetic, another pyromancer. We have more heat than they do, but they have spikes, so we're dealing damage to ourselves, <laughs> which sucks. They they luckily got spikes through the um. Dude, the burning coal or the coal. A phoenix this early is kind of interesting. I don't think I get it though. I think we're passing on the phoenix. Obesity crash. No! OBS crash. Not obesity. OBS crash. What the heck? Hey! I'm glad I rolled. I'm just gonna go ahead and sell you. So I can make me some space. That's looking good, though. That's looking damn good. All right, cool. Going against a Goobert with an axe, forge hammer, spike shields is nasty. That's our biggest L, but. Oh, they, they got to enter Berserker mode. We lost. <laughs> we lost. If you're going neck to neck with a Berserker and you're like, oh my God, we can still win this. No, they got Berserker mode. And as soon as that guy goes off, you lose. So yeah, war, I, I think it's better to start the game off with two different forms of DPS still. Even with all this heat, it's still just better. But anyways, I can get my chili. Just nice. If I get me, all I need is two. All I need is two. All right, cool. Now give me some gooberts. And we're, we're cooking. And give me a dragon, please. Spike shield, eh? Another one with a whetstone, a little forging hammer, 
So I got a dragon. Why'd you... Why? 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 Why not make the forging hammer faster instead of the stone? Very interesting. Let's say we win this one. Yes, sir. Good game. Goober. Boo! And we're buying you too. Um, uh, Let's put you like... Somewhere up in here. It's getting hot in here. Okay. <laughs> sell you. I'm going to sell all the jewels. Just so I can buy this guy. Give myself a little bit more space. Move you up by one. Tilt you. We can go double chili. And just put the blueberry right there. That works. For me? All right, that's good. I think that's good. Now we can get our chili goober. Also got the burning blade. Just give me this the dragon now and we'll be good. Oh, they're giving us a run for our money. Them and them ripshaw blade. But now you're out of stamina, buddy. Out of stamina. Whoa, 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 whoa. Calm down. Calm down. Woo. That was close. Too close for comfort. But now we got chili goober. And so we'll just put you there now. Um, that guy on sale, I'll buy you. I'm gonna get you. Give me a little bit more space, and we'll roll with that. I think that's good. I think that's good. Axe, forging hammer, dragon scale armor, huh? Okay. We'll see how this goes. I'm feeling confident in my uh, in my Gooby situation. I got the healing. I got the heat speediness. Got the DPS increase. 11 to 13 right now. Heal! There we go! One health. One freaking health. I'll take that L though. Because now we get the Firebender. Oh, and we can get double space. Yeah, we're going to need double space. We're also going to need this regular Sapphire because we only got one form of uh, mana generation, which we're going to need more with us having the Firebender, which we put right there, which is probably better since we could put a bunch of fire around you. Like that. All right, I think that's solid. Um, let's actually move this situation just so it can make a little bit more sense like that. That's better. Yeah, that's better. That's better. That's better. Cool. All right. All right. Piercing arrow, huh? On a hero sword. Looks like you're going for a vamp gooby, but. Yeah, well, we should definitely beat this guy. 100% <laughs> chance. 100 trillion percent fanch. Look at all the heat we're generating. There goes our 15 region and dead. Good game. A Jerry! We found a Jerry. Hold up. 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 Hold up, 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 hold up. I've always had the fantasy of using Jerry with the Phoenix. Because the Phoenix uses all your heat to reincarnate all the health that you have. Right? Or, you know, you know, 10 health per heat. If we can utilize the Jerry to give me a shit ton of maximum health. Because we already got the mana generation. We already got the heat generation. We just need the clovers. Plus, it'll help us just to survive with DPS scaling and stuff. Now, to get the clovers, honestly, we could just use a flute. Degen lamp. This gives us clovers. Five. Um, Blueberry. Like, we got to get Jerry. We got to get Jerry. Oh, man. We need a Phoenix now. I want to see that. I want to see us. <laughs> I want to see us have a thousand health. I want to see us have a thousand health. And then we die. And then we just heal it all back. <laughs> we just go straight back to a thousand. 
That's what I want to see. All right, so let's put you there because you like food because you are food. Um, We need mana generation, so I think we keep this chip sapphire. That should be enough mana generation. We don't need that much. We don't need like a shit ton of mana. Even without a mana ore, we should be fine because this is going to give us mana. Blueberry is going to give us mana. You only use one every three seconds. So, yeah, we should be fine. Mana generation wise, we should be straight. So we don't need a mana orb, I don't think. Um, I don't really care about these two. I do want to buy you now. I think I keep all the mana sapphires. We can even put those on armor slots for armor eventually. Let's sell one heat in order to buy you. I'll put you right there. Um, well, this is awkward. I gotta put you somewhere. I guess I'll just put you right there. That works for me. All right. Yeah, that works for me. All right, cool. All right, Jerry. I'm gonna use you to the best ability, I swear it. Ooh, this is my first time seeing Frozen Flame being used, but he's not even using it correctly. Well, he doesn't have any ice items either, so. But, five fire gain, inflict two cold. He's only using Burning Sword and the Flaming Whip. Interesting, okay. We'll see how this goes. Need a little bit of a, there we go, then give me that mana. I need, I need my boy to be working, giving me all that heat in the world. Please and thank you. And then I need Jerry to be increasing my maximum health. There you go. Give me that empowerment. Keep it going, Jerry. Give me that region too. Keep it going, Jerry. I like to see you work. Look at that 265 already. Oh, we got a hundred more health already than, uh, than our enemy. And we got 30 region. <laughs> 30 region. Oh my gosh. The only thing we're missing is clovers. We need a clover generator. So we, we definitely got to get flute. We got to get flute or we got to get DJ lamp as soon as possible so we can continue the Jerry amazingness. Okay. That's what we need right now. There goes the flute. First thing to happen. We need some space though. Because I would love to put it like here or something. Or we could use it as an activator on a chili goober. Put it like there. Because it is, I mean, it's only, it's, it's every five seconds, but it does get 30% well, faster already by default versus this one. So that's better. Or even pointing it downwards would be better too. Because that's uh, five, five slots, which we can increase. So we need to get ourselves a fanny pack or something. That would be good. The game loves me. The game loves me. All right. So we did that. Um... I'll move this around a little bit sell you so we can actually put a slot in that one little spot we'll go boom boom and then we'll go chili at the end make jerry as fast as possible as well even though heat pretty much makes him as fast as possible so and then we'll just do that that works for me all right now we got our clover situation solidified we got our stamina situation solidified this is like, it's it's all coming together. It's low-key perfect. Okay, it's low-key perfect, all coming together, and I love it. I love it. At least this person's putting cold on us. Even though we're getting rid of the cold because something cleanses. Something cleanses here, and I don't know what. But something cleansed the cold, which is good. But look at that. We're at 265. How do we have less max health? Oh, because of this. Gain 80 uh, health. So, that's why we got less max health. It looks like our mana situation isn't doing that great, though. Yeah. We got to find better mana gen. Because Jerry uses up mana plus the friendly fire uses up mana. So, yeah. We definitely got to uh, figure out some form of mana generation. <laughs> that caught me off guard. Sorry about the coughs. That definitely caught me off guard. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I 
That was funny. That was funny. That was funny. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> that was funny. That was funny. I give you props for that one. That was good. <laughs> oh, we should definitely healing's amplified by twenty percent. That's definitely gotta go in the hat. Um, we could also use this. I don't know. I kind of want to survive as long as possible without killing the enemy now, just to get as much heat as possible. Getting this will make the enemy die faster because the crit hits. But then again, it could be used as another generation of flame from it having the spikes. Ah, I'll pass. Oh, there goes the dragon because I was planning on getting the obsidian dragon. Hmm. Uh, I don't know now. I think I'm going to get it. I think we get the obsidian dragon. I think that's a, a good choice. Okay. Yeah, I think that's a good choice. Likewise, we could also get the Dijon lamp. At least it's giving us mana. And it'll also be giving us clovers. Because we really didn't increase our mana generation this round, unfortunately. It's expensive, though. I think we do it. It'll help us out with our mana generation. Well, no, actually, because we're going to be using up so much mana, it'll never proc. So is it even worth it at that point? If we're only using it for mana generation, it's probably not worth it. Anyways, I do want to take a look at their build. Looks like they got Phoenix plus Molten Spear maxed out. Interesting. He's also got double Draconic Orb, which these are activating. Even if I, uh, if even though I don't have uh, Pierce, it seems like they still activate. Which is actually pretty interesting. Oh, this guy is strong. Oh, shit. That's not good. <laughs> the regeneration is low-key keeping us alive. Plus, Jerry giving us more maximum health. Ooh, Jerry, buddy. Am I happy I have you? Yeah, we need mana generation. We need, we need a mana orb. I thought we weren't going to need a mana orb, but we definitely need a mana orb. I'm not going to get this. Just because we're going to be using up so much mana, this will never proc. It will never proc. And it's a little bit too expensive. I'd rather have a mana orb. Do I want this ruby egg? I'm a little bit scared right now. Oh, this is expensive. If anything, I need a mana orb. Okay, getting another blueberries is good. Some more chili is also good, just for the healing plus the heat. Um... I'm just gonna put this here. Yeah, I need me an orb. I don't think I get that dragon. Unless it's on sale. If it's on sale, I'm gonna get it. But other than that, this is just a no for me. He's got Chili Goober plus Friendly Fire on a whippity whip 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 plus Burning Sword. It looks like he's gonna go for the uh, the Flaming Whip and then the uh, Burning Blade. But he doesn't have it now, which is good. I think that blueberry does help us a great deal. Even though we still need a little bit more. Actually, do we? Are we good on mana right now? Just one blueberry made the difference? It seems like it. It seems like we're gaining more uh, mana than we're using. So we might be good on mana then. Yeah, I think we're good on mana now. Okay. Interesting. Um... In that case, I'm gonna get the chip. I wanna increase my healing by a lot. So, we'll get you. And the good thing is, the more heat we have, the more things scale. So we're gonna be generating even more mana, which is gonna be able to keep up with the speed of the friendly fire, the uh, Jerry and everything. Which is gonna be good for us. Ooh, we got another Goober. We should definitely get a second Goober for a, uh, a second chili goober. That's amazing. Okay. 
We finally got the orb. Um, I say we probably also get this glowing crown, mainly for another activator and for a slot for this uh, emerald situation. I think that would be beautiful. Let's remove you. Let's move over by one because this is going to have to go like that because we're going to need those activators, right? Which is going to be chilly. And I guess a blueberry. Chili and a blueberry is good. And then we'll just move another chili over there once those combine. Um. All right, I think that's good. I think that's good. I'll just leave this uh, alone. All right, this is actually I can just buy that now. Save me some slots. <clears throat> Save me some slots. They got an interesting build. Looks like their main DPS is probably going to be uh, the Obsidian Dragon. Plus, he's gaining DPS from both of the Molten Daggers. Scary build he's got. He's going to have a lot of DPS. At least they're not going to be as fast, though. Because he's using his heat for his daggers, which means it hurts his dragon because the dragon gains dps every time you gain 15. i wonder if you actually have to reach a threshold of 15 or not if you don't then it doesn't matter but if you do then it matters bro the healing is insane look at our regeneration 42 regen 69 heat jerry activated nine times right there 33 to 35 damage Jesus. And we haven't even reached 100 of dealing 100 damage <laughs> to the enemy. Which we're definitely about to now that we got this chili goober. Um, so. Damn, we don't have enough money for everything. What should we prioritize? An a mana orb, maybe? Because this is going to use mana. So I say we prioritize the mana orb and we also buy the space. Mana orb can go. Let's see. Which one's the fastest? Three seconds. Three seconds. Probably the sword. 1.6. So yeah. As long as it's on a sword. And I also don't need to generate that much stamina or mana. So as long as it's on a sword, we're straight. And then we just buy this space. We can just put this up here. Just so I can just... Get a combination off, put the jewel there. And then we're just going to get the glowing crown next round. Oh, I forgot the activator on here. That sucks. We still got activators, but I should have moved one of the chilies over. Either way, we're generating so much now. From both of these. Oh, we're generating so much heat now. We should be able to reach that 100 threshold. 100%. Looks like they got a chili on their own, but they only got one activator, so it doesn't matter. They went with villain sword. And they want a degen proc on a villain sword, which honestly they might. No, they won't get it. Even if they did, our healing is nutty. The regeneration we have, the speed we have, mana orb is working wonders. We already got a lot of mana generation, so I, I guess we'll be fine with the glowing crown. <laughs> Boom, 100 at the end. 100 at the end and just dead. Give me the beat to free my soul. Is that a... That sounds like a verse from something. I'll just put you right there. Reserve you. You can go in there for my increased healing. Honestly, I'm going to just get this one as well. Just for even more increased healing whenever uh, we get there. Jerry's looking healthy as always. I could also get me a Whopper Tinger. That'll help me with my stamina generation. And I guess the random buffs that you generate it won't be that bad either. It's a good item to have for Degen procs. If we want to go that route, which we could go that route. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. Going against Burning Sword, Flame Whip. 
He's also got the uh, the birdie. And a Dijon lamp. Huh. No procage, though. He doesn't have any block generation. So we should be fine. We're already at 30 heat. Look at that regen. You see, the, you see the amount of damage he's doing to us? And then our regen is just like, no. I refuse. And then being in Vonmo right there really helped us out, too. So we got 30 regen, but we're regening for 40. And that's due to the jewels. Which seems to be like a, a nice solid increase. And in 100. <laughs> as soon as we reach 80. Dead. So let's get you. Just put you there. That works for me. Um... This will be interesting. Our healing is increased again, plus the maximum health. I mean, we're getting seven regen anyways from Jerry. I say we might as well get this. And it might be even better with the corrupted. Wait, what does he do? Oh, the opponent's healing is reduced. Nah, I think I'd rather have my increase in healing, even though it's only 15%. Even though you gained 80 maximum health, though. How much maximum health do you gain from this? 80. Okay, so you still gain 80, so... Do you still stream Rocket League? I don't. I do not stream Rocket League. Yeah. Once in a blue moon? No, I don't. No. It's been so long since I freaking streamed that game. Once in a blue moon is not... Not valid. You're giving this man false hope. <laughs> I'm actually going to pass on the cap of resilience. Just hoping to get space. We don't really need another mana orb. Um, that is space. I can make that work. Yeah, I can make that work. I can make that work. This is looking dangerous. He's got triple cheese. Okay. He's getting 10, 10 maximum health every four seconds and a random buff. Okay. Every four seconds. And he's also got the speedy uppy gloves. 40% faster during battle rage. Plus the uh, double axe doing a shit ton of damage. Every single hit, gaining two. And during battle rage, he's gaining three each hit. And he's also got brass knuckles. Which on hit, gain accuracy and crit chance. Very dangerous build he's got. I think I think we'll be fine. I'm feeling confident in our um in our regeneration abilities, so I feel like we'll be fine. As long as Jerry does what Jerry does, you feel me? We should be straight. Look at our maximum health, 405 already. And we're just gonna keep on gaining. It's good we don't do that much damage. That way we can actually see it come into fruition. He just did 50 damage to us, we already healed it all. Oh, now he's gonna be doing a shit ton of damage to us now. Look at that. But we're just healing and healing and healing and healing. We're almost back up to max health already. Boom. Good game. <laughs> Good freaking game. You should definitely pick it up again. Nah, I'm having too much fun playing other games. I was in, uh, oh, because of the schedule, it says Rocket League Stream tomorrow. That's true. That is very true. I need to change that schedule. That's definitely something I need to do is change these schedules so people aren't confused. Um, I wanted to buy this potion belt. I guess I could. I just sell you. Which I could. You know what? I'm gonna sell the flames instead. And then I also need you. I guess we're just gonna sell flames for it, right? That way I could put you down, which is faster than the three seconds. You go in there. Actually, you not know. I'm gonna put the armor in there. That's so we can gain armor, because we're gaining a lot of mana. Or at least a decent amount of mana. It's not a lot, but it's a decent amount. What's our healing? 15. So our healing amplifies is 35. That'll make it 45. That's actually probably better. Realistically. And then the maximum health we're going to be gaining in general. Holy crap. During battle rage, 15, 30, 40, 30, 45. So What's 15 times 30? 15, 30, 60, 60%. 60%, 60 <laughs> reduced damage taken during battle rage. And then the backpack itself also gives uh, 
80% reduced damage during battle rage. And he's using the hammer plus poison. Oh my gosh. This is a build. This is a legitimate build. He's got the brass knuckles, 30% chance to stun. He's got triple poison daggers, plus the regular hammer with a 50% chance to stun. So he's going to be stunning us like a lot. He's definitely going to be stunning us a lot. And then he's also got during battle rage, everything's going to be faster, right? And then he's going to be taking 80% reduced damage. Okay, that's scary. Where's your Easter egg? Did you know I had an Easter egg? Last time I saw, um, I saw playing Rock League was back in 2004. Lol. So long ago. I was definitely not playing Rock League in 2004. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to be, our healing is going to be in the testament right here. It's definitely going to show here because he's not going to be taking that much damage. But we're going to have to be worrying about that poison. He's already got 24 poison on us and we have no way of cleansing poison, I don't think. Actually, we do. We cleanse a little bit, but it's not going to be enough. Definitely not going to be enough. There goes that battle rage. And he's also, he also gains so much armor from that too. He's already got 50 poison on us. Come on healing. Come on healing. We haven't reached uh, 80 yet though. So we still got 100 damage to deal to him. Our healing is impeccable right now. Look at that healing. Even though he's doing so much damage, it was 75. 100 damage on his dome. He's still alive. 43, 42, 44. 47. Imagine these were crits. <laughs> Imagine those were crits. Even though we had 13 clovers. Oh, we didn't have any chance to crit. We need... So that's the only chance you can crit is through the, the dragon or amulet thing where your next five hits are crit. That's the only way to crit. But with that being said, having like a bunch of heat maybe doesn't even matter though. Because you're going to hit way more than five times. But we had 715 health at the end of that. 715. 100 heat, 15 empowerment. That's why we were doing 48 to 50 damage plus, you know, 4 heat gain plus 1 damage. Even with 94 poison and him stunning us a shit ton of times and these just hitting in general. I'm glad I went against you. I'm so glad I went against you. Man, we don't have to worry about stamina at all. This thing hit every 0.5 seconds. Stamina uses is two a second. The Whopper Tinger with this build is so good because you don't have to worry about stamina. You literally don't have to worry about stamina. You have so many buffs, especially with Gingerbread Jerry giving us buffs as well, that I don't even have to worry about stamina. That's how amazing it is. Stamina issues over. Absolutely over. I'm going to sell a heat just so I can get this cap and get this shift in. <laughs> just so our amp fight healing is even more. There goes the Draconic Orb. So yeah, 15 reach your next five hits are crit. But the thing is, you hit so many times. How how viable is this? Unless you're using uh, a dragon, because those don't attack that often. So the crits matter a lot more if you're doing a lot of damage in general. But we kind of just aren't. So I don't think that's very important for us. Should we get another chili pepper? Just to increase our heat gainage. Might as well. Um, let's roll again. And I think that's it. The best thing I could do here probably is to buy this banana or something. Or the healing. Or even a flute. If I need a spot to put it. And I need stuff to sell for it. Which is not going to happen. <clears throat> so I think that's it. Um, let's uh, do that. Spy this. Put it somewhere. Nah. Well, actually, I could. Technically speaking, I definitely could. Yeah, why not? <laughs> why not? Actually. And for activators, uh, I guess we can do chili and maybe even we can even do gingerbread Jerry. Like we could do a chili over here and a chili over there. Hmm. <laughs> 
It's just got four flame just chilling on the floor. Even more healing. Let's go. I guess we could sell two of those just to buy this guy. Just to save one of the flames. That works. All right, cool. This is the final build then. This is a really fun build. And this guy does not look like he has survivability. So he's going more so for DPS. I wonder why he didn't upgrade this into the the other great sword. But he's using the practically ours great sword corrupted crystal with a on hit 3% faster, which is pretty cool. He's using this in the backpack plus 40 maximum health. Don't know why. Are you getting regeneration? To utilize this? I don't think so. I mean, he did have the present though, so. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure he win. Pretty sure we're taking this one home. So the max health we got was 700, it seemed, at the end. Unless a miracle happens and we just get even more here, but I doubt it. I think we're going to kill this person before we manage to get up to seven or up to a thousand health. Unless we got rid of our sword at the last minute, but then we wouldn't have a way of killing him at that point. Except for fatigue, I guess. Yeah, we should have done that. We should have gotten rid of our sword and just let them die to fatigue. So far, so good, though. We're literally able to heal every attack that he's able to dish out to us. Like he's hitting us for 54. But we're healing for so much more. <laughs> and almost dead. Dead. Good game. 745. Yeah, if we would have sold our sword, we would have been able to definitely get that up to like a lot higher because they would have been able to uh, survive a little bit longer. Speaking of, let's see how much damage we did. Yeah, 597 damage. Actually, no, 631 damage. 631 let's look at the healing 249 from the regeneration 160 plus from both of the goobers and then vampirism as well glowing crown regular goober man this is an insane bro jerry put in work okay jerry put in that work jerry is the mvp of this build 100 percent. jerry's the mvp i love jerry that's kind of crazy how we got two unique battles in a row. That was a good game, though.